It's a small dairy town in the Waikato, but soon Morans will be a mecca for art lovers if it can raise the cash. A host of famous Kiwis has put brush to canvas to help pay for, for a proposed gallery, including champion ocean row Rob Hamill and former Governor-General Dame Kath Tizard. Welcome to the show. I was impressed with the fitness there before. Oh, oh yes, I can, I can lift my arm this high. <laughs> Let, let's before we talk about the paintings that uh, you guys uh, painted. Have you ever painted before? Before that, I think this is the third painting I've done for a worthy cause. Mm -hmm. So but that's about it. <laughs> so tell us about your painting. I'll, I'll get uh, them to bring it up oh. on the screen. Tell us about where you got your inspiration for it. Oh, my inspiration for my painting comes from, that's Otama Beach, and that's the Pahutakawa tree mm -hmm. at the bottom of the track down to the beach. And we are blessed and lucky enough to have a batch at that beach. It's wow. Uh, it's a stunning, stunning place. North, uh, on the eastern side of the Coromandel, that's the corner of the Mercury, yeah. Great Mercury Island, yeah. you can see in the background there. I thought you would have put, uh, painted the batch on there, Dame Kath. Not likely. <laughs> <laughs> how, long, how long did it take you to paint? Oh, a couple of days. A couple of days? Off and on. Jeez, After. you were motoring. Crazy. I was in a rush. <laughs> you were in a rush? <laughs> yeah. Did you do it, did, was a, it done over a period of time? Was it a couple of hours here, then have a break, another couple of hours? Well, that, well you've got to let it dry. Right. Brenton, right. You know, well, I'm not a painter, so I would ne wouldn't know. Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I honestly can't remember how long, uh, off, off and on for two or three days anyway. Right. And getting increasingly frustrated at my lack of skill the whole time. So when they asked you, were you uh, did you jump at it straight away or did you have to have a, a think about it? Oh. Of course I had to think about it. <laughs> I don't like making a fool of myself too often. Right. Um, but I'm a sucker for good causes and uh, I grew up in the Waikato uh, in Waharoa near Matamata and Morrinsville was our next big town and mm -hmm. we had friends there and uh, I, I know some people connected with the gallery. I thought, oh, wouldn't hurt, it wouldn't hurt you to put in a bit of effort to help them along with it because uh, you know, it might attract a little bit of money or a little bit of interest. That, that's all. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What about for you, Rob? Tell us about your inspiration for your piece of work. We'll bring it up in a minute. Um, yeah, I, I struggled. I mean, I took a couple of weeks, actually, <laughs> to say, Kath, I'm impressed you got that done, because Kath's pieces, she's suitably humble. Very, it's, it's, it, actually, it looks better in the reel, in the, in the, like on the... Oh, I thought it looked better on the there. box, actually. No, nah, yours looks fantastic. <laughs> it's brilliant, but... I like the colours, Rob. Right? I really do like the colours. Yeah, it was kind of a, I, I, at sea, I was the, the most, so I decided to do something on at dusk, you know, because dusk yeah. was the most amazing time at sea. Mm -hmm. It was always different, but it was always interesting and, and the temperature was dropping and, you know, you see these magnificent skies, but the sea was always um, This is when you, were, when you were doing the transatlantic? Sorry, yeah, mid-Atlantic, mid yes. Yeah, the mid-Atlantic. Yes, yes, that was kind of the inspiration, I suppose. And, uh, you know, you'd have these seas that one day would just be like a, like Lake Taupo, flat as. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I say flat as, my kids are saying that now, I'm saying flat as what? Yeah. <laughs> flat as a teacup, to, you know, I yeah. shouldn't say that. But, and, and, and other days you'd get seas that were waves coming from three different directions and you were yeah. just like in a washing machine. And I sort of, I don't, don't know if I succeeded, but I tried to put that in the ocean, you know, and, and, um, and it was amazingly, um, I became very attached to it. I don't know. If right. I mean, oh, you didn't, want, you didn't want to let it go. No, yeah. I didn't. No, yeah. I, it was really hard. Yeah. To, you know, if, I don't know how real artists feel letting their their heart and soul that they yeah. put into something and then have to, you know. I but that's know. the difference. Uh, mine's a <coughs> photographic reproduction right. thing. Uh, Rob's is creative <coughs> and imaginative, oh. and I can understand how you, how you would <laughs> feel like that. I was glad to see mine go because I wasn't satisfied with it. Really? Oh, I think, oh, I think yours, yours is beautiful. What are the kids How much think, do you Rob? want for it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, they're, hoping, they're hoping to make a little bit of money. Yeah, how much yeah. do you want for it, Rob? Yeah. Oh, no, look, whatever, it's it's, whatever someone's prepared to pay. You know, yeah. I guess it's, look, seriously, some of these pieces I reckon are worth well over five grand. Mm. Daniel Loaders, I just, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, John Trimmers, oh, have you seen that? Oh, it's, it's amazing. There's some... There's Daniel's one right there. Yeah. It is interesting because you, you look at, or if you haven't met people and their personalities, usually when people put it on yeah. paper or they paint, it really shows their personality, like yeah. someone that has attention to detail. You're talking about um, Trimmer. Mm. Uh, his work's quite 
detailed, isn't it? It is very detailed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah. and skillful. Real yeah. skill. Oh, I was very impressed. Yeah. So when you were asked <coughs> to, to paint uh, for the gallery, what were your first thoughts and feelings? Um, I, Actually, yeah, I, I had a little bit of an issue in the sense I'm doing a, a lot of stuff for hospice Waikato at the moment. They've mm -hmm. got a major on. I didn't want to um, compromise that because we, you know, I'm trying to promote that as much as possible. Um, and the people at hospice, fantastic. They were very supportive and they didn't want to see other good causes, you know, being compromised by what mm -hmm. they're doing. So it was a, that was a win-win for everyone. And, uh, but once we're into it, mate, we're just, it was, it was yeah, absolute no-brainer. Well, the man that's in charge of all this, and I'd like to uh, bring him onto the uh, set, is uh, Trevor Locke. He's actually the project, would we call you the project manager? Oh, Trevor? Probably not the project manager, but I'm uh, giving a little bit of time to this project to see it, to see it through. Well, Trevor, tell us about the project and what, what you're hoping to achieve from it all. Well, Brendan, the project is a community gallery, um, and it will be a, a gallery for the community. Uh, within the gallery, there will be a part dedicated to the Wallace Collection. So half of the gallery will be for the Wallace Arts Trust Collection which is a collection of over four and a half thousand pieces of contemporary New Zealand art, uh, worth around $40 million. Uh, and James Wallace uh, has collected that art and put it into the trust over a, pe over a period mm. of years. The really amazing thing about the trust is that it contains diary collections of works from New Zealand artists like right. Philip Truston um, and you know, people like that. And there are these diary collections and we'll be able to exhibit these diary collections of New Zealand artists. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with uh, Dame Kath and, and Rob as, as part of your, your celebrities to, to paint? It actually came out of the community. Uh, one of the right. local people in the community said, I've got a great idea and I think that this would really work. And he came to us and we said, yep, let's go for it. Uh, we invited 100 uh, prominent New Zealanders. Uh, we had 22 uh, take up the opportunity. Well, I mean, I, I, I've, I've been incredibly humbled by the by the, the amount of work that we've actually got and the quality of the work is, is staggering. And considering that most of these people have never painted before. And the Wallace Arts Trust is about emerging artists. And here in this, in this um, auction, we actually have emerging artists. Um, and the gallery will be about emerging artists. With the community gallery, as we go forward, exhibiting our local community artists, exhibiting uh, artists from our schools, um, people's works from NCEA, and then an event and exhibit area as well. Now we've got another couple of pieces of work. We've got Alison Holst and Jason Guns, which we'll have a look at. There's yeah, Alison. Alison Holst by Alison. Um, you know, an amazing piece to, to actually cool. wow. do your That's own, cool. yeah. do a self-portrait of yourself. Wow. Yes. Um, the Jason Gunn piece, obviously, Brendan, um, you signed the uh, you signed <laughs> the Jason Gunn piece. Uh, that's <laughs> Dancing with the Stars 07. <laughs> did he? Um, so he didn't actually yeah. pay that, did he? No, I think actually it was. I think Jason might have done the Dancing with the Stars bit and yeah. then put his name on it. Um, but you know, other works as well. Uh, obviously, Daniel Loder's work you've seen, John Trimmer's. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Joy Cowley, uh, Rosemary McLeod, um, Wilson Winneray, Joe Karam, JG Feeney, uh, just amazing people. So how do people go about bidding or auctioning for the pieces? Um, they can actually, it's all the pieces are actually being displayed on Trade Me. Right. Um, so if they go to morrinsellgallery.org.nz and there's a link on there um, to the Trade Me site, you can see all of the pieces at once, you can go there and, and just, just really bid lots of money because you know, we, we want lots of money for these and, and as uh, Rob said, some of these pieces will be very valuable in a few years time. Well and Dame Kath and Rob have put a lot of work into it, they've done a fantastic oh. job. <laughs> yeah. I might actually bid for yours Dame Kath, I, I think I will put a bid in for oh, yours. I'd be I'd, by I'd, that I'd like you, actually but I'd like you to finish it off for me and put the batch on there. Would you do that for me? Yeah. Well, I'm not quite sure because it's, it's, it's a picture from the batch balcony. Oh, right. But I tell you what, uh, you buy it, you can come and, come and, come and stay with us. How hey, about that's that? a great idea. Are you a good right? cook? Yep. I yeah. eat a lot of food. Judith's a better cook. All right, then. Uh, Is it open to anyone who actually wins it, Kath? Um, no, it's just for me. <laughs> it's just, it's just I've got, I've we'll just leave few, it at that. I've got a few charity, well, you know, good cause <laughs> uh, tendencies. I have to book in, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll book in right. for that. Thank you so much for coming on the show and have a wonderful Pleasure. Christmas. Good luck Thanks, to Brandon. the project.